Hi, this is Nicole Garalot with Nicole's Classes. I teach all of the photo-based classes and started a series called Ask Nicole. Today's question was, which program do I use for photo editing? I use Adobe Lightroom to make mostly all of my post-production changes. And that usually just includes certain color shifts and a little bit of brightness and contrast. If I'm ever doing anything more intense where I'm changing the shape of something or removing something from a photo, I will use Adobe's Photoshop for that. I'll show you now how I use Adobe Lightroom to enhance my photos. It's always my goal to have a well-exposed shot without having to make much manipulation after the fact. That way we don't spend as much time in post-production. Sometimes when I'm in a controlled environment, I will take a picture in my scene with a color checker chart or a gray card. And if I've done that, I can take my white balance selector, select any of my neutral grays on my card, and it'll immediately adjust the color in the photo to something that's more neutral. However, sometimes that is not always the look and feel that I'm going for, so I don't always do that. When I'm going through and editing my photos, and editing to me means choosing one over another, so when I edit, I go through initially and select which images I like the best and which ones I'm going to work on. For example, I might go through and do an initial edit and select one star for the images that I like and go through later and select two star or three star and continue going until I have found the ones that I really like. Once I've made three stars on the images that I like, I can select it right here to make only the three star images show up. From there, usually the first thing I do is select my crop if for any reason we need to crop it. Usually if I'm tethering, I will have a crop already predetermined so that as it imports, it selects the overlay of the crop so we can see exactly what our final should be. I like to crop and compose in camera so that we're not messing with the file structure and, and having to lose a lot of information. But the native format of a DSLR is usually a little bit longer than what we work with. So I usually go to a 4 by 5 or an 8 by 10 ratio. However, if you're working for a client that has specific crop specifications, then I would obviously work with those. So I'll take the crop first. Here the exposure is fine. I can select my highlight and make sure that they're not blown out too much anywhere. I think it could use a little touch of contrast, and I think it's good to go. I don't usually sharpen my images. I find that it looks very artificial. Um, mostly my images tend to just be um, a very slight change in color, and I might add a little bit of brightness and contrast. Here are the images upside down. There we go. I will, I will move the crop back to this 4x5, 8x10. That's initially how I intended it. I'm adding just a touch more in the exposure, a little bit of contrast. And the other thing that I do change quite often is the lens correction. I will enable profile corrections so that I can avoid any distortion that maybe the lens had that I used. What I also like is it does remove the vignette that naturally occurs when you're using wider angle lenses. If I'm working in the same scenario, where the lighting has not changed, I can always copy and paste into my other images so that I don't have to continue doing that work. Once these images are finished, I will export and create JPEGs where I can be very specific and say exactly what type of quality. If I want it to export to a specific size, if I want to change the name, I can do that all here. You can even do a resize to fit the exact dimensions of blog or of a file that you have to deliver to a client or to a friend and send that out for export. I am such a big fan of Adobe Lightroom now that I've switched over to having this be my main editing program. 
And I don't even claim to know very much of it, which is why I have Mark Weinberg teaching Lightroom 101 for us at Nicole's classes. I learned so much in just a, you know 20 minutes of that class even. And this program allows you to have so much more flexibility with your photos that fortunately I don't need to do because the nature of my images are a little bit more natural and that's kind of the goal there. But the program can do so much more. So I highly recommend taking the Adobe Lightroom 101 class that is offered by Mark Weinberg and Nicole's classes. Hopefully this gave you a little more insight into what I do and how I do it. And you should definitely check it out for you to see if it works for you in your creative process.